हेलो है गुड मॉर्निंग मैं इन वीडियो आफ्टर द स्पेशल आफ्टर लाइव स्ट्रीम दिस इज अ क्विक रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ द टुडेज क्वेश्चन ऑफ लीड कोड फॉर श्योर अ क्विक हिंट बिफोर यू स्टार्ट ऑफ इफ यू वांट टू कंप्लीट रिशन प्लीज स्किप द हिंट बट या इफ यू नो मैटर स्टीम मल्टीप्लिकेशन दैट्स गोइंग टू अप्लाई इन दिस क्वेश्चन बट या द सर्टेन क्वेश्चन इटसेल्फ स्ट्रेंज प्रिंटर इज नॉट अ स्ट्रेंज इट्स अ अनॉइंग प्रिंटर कूल दिस स्ट्रेंज प्रिंटर विद द फॉलोइंग टू स्पेशल प्रॉपर्टीज इन द प्रॉपर्टीज आर दैट इट कैन प्रिंट can only print a sequence of the same characters which means at one time if i click a print it will print it will print the sequence of same characters and basically at each turn the printer can print a new character starting from and ending at any place which means i can start off if i let, let's say i write a then i can just start the printer again at any place i can start off at as b b b also i can start as b b also i can start any way to write the other character right and will cover the original existing characters which means if i start off at any place let's say b b here so it will cover off the existing characters right let's say b here it, it comes up then it will not cover right cool now what i am saying is i have to bring in okay a string s return the minimum number of turns the printer needed to print it so i have to print the minimum number of turns minimum turns to print this particular sequence as s cool let's see the example itself by first example itself it is clearly 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 visible that i have a a a b b b so one thing is okay i write a a a a a a and then at top of it i write a b b b it is one such case or maybe i write a a a a and then i freshly started writing b b b at the end that is one such case maybe if i write a a b a then i write a a a a and then at the mid i started writing a b and then i wrote i stopped at that location and then i wrote okay that's a b so i got a a b a cool now for sure to get the minimum number of turns to print the same stuff what i can do is as i as i know okay i just do a a b b b now if i just ask you simply what's the minimum number of turns just to print a a a you will simply say me r it's a one because i just simply write my printer and print a a so i just simply get one turn right if i just ask you what's for b b b you will again say it's a one turn then i will ask you arin what's for ba it's two turns what's for simple a it's just one turn so i can easily see okay maybe i can find the answer for some group of characters which means some group i can find the answer and then i can find the answer for the other group and then maybe i can merge it down so i can easily see that okay i have a a i have a ba so maybe if i just place my slash or maybe a group okay i can make a left group i can make a right group so as i will again ask what is the minimum number of turns to make the left group it is one what is the what is the minimum, minimum like what is the minimum number of turns to make the right group it is two because i will write a, a and then a b b b okay it's two so i can simply go and add them up okay it's a three but oh that's actually not the answer answer minimum is two oh i just place my slash which means group at this point what if i just try at this point so i again write for this point okay i will just ask minimum 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 of turns for this part it's one for right part it's again one oh i can simply go and add them oh it's two so with this i know okay i will try for every possibilities and we break the problem down to smaller problems that for the smaller because i know ultimately okay i can easily find okay for a i know it's just one turn required for a again it's one turn required for a again it's one turn required for a b it's two turn required so i know i can break the problem down big problem down to into small groups now the groups can be many so i can just simply break it down to as many groups as i want so basically i can group break it down to only a or a and and when i say break it down which means okay it is the left part it is the right part left part is this right part is this left part is when i break down here left is this right is this so i can break it down and try for every possibility that what is going to happen let's say for this example i have a aba i'll break down here okay let's say to print a i'll need one chance one turn for to print ba i'll need two turns ultimately i'll need three turns oh is it correct no not sure it's two so answer is not this cool if i have a ab okay it's again number of like number of required turns are two for a one ultimately answer is three oh it's still not two 
Oh, so by Aryan by breaking this, I'm getting a wrong answer. How is it even possible? No, you are you are getting the right answer. It's just that you just forgot one case. When you are merging it down, cool. You just have two as the answer for left part, one as the answer for the right part. One, but when you merged it down, you forgot the case. That what if these are same? If these are same, I can ultimately say, oh, ultimately I merge them. I, I assume these both as different and I merge them. But ultimately, I also know, oh, these both are same. If these both are same, I can assume that it was actually a one string and then at the mid, it was modified. It was a same string, which means it was a A, A, A ultimately and the mid, it was modified as B. Because these are same, so I can subtract a one out of all these turns. In total, the, in total, the turns for three but i can subtract a one because i can get to know because these two are same still if it's confusing let's break it down much smaller if i would have asked you same if it's a aa again you would have gone and break it down at this point i'll go and ask okay for this it's the answer is one just one turn for this the answer is okay. again one when you are merging it okay you merged it but ultimately you will go and check okay if both are same yeah both are same so ultimately for you the answer would have been two but you also know a is just a one time you can simply print out so answer should have been one so one extra it is coming out why because you counted the same stuff twice so that's the reason just go and ask if your i and j are same simply say and subtract one from your turns whatsoever you have found out so ultimately now you know you will go and try out for every turn just saying okay i'll go and try out for every turn just writing a simple recursive function go and try out for every turn possible which means every of the left part every of the right part every of the left part every of the right right part every of the left part every of the right part and for sure by this you can simply the answer but now you know okay it's a recursive call being made but um recursive call before as we see recursion again and again again and again we usually come to a thought can we apply DP? Can we? But for that, we need to have a repeating subtown part. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Let's see if I break it down here. So the left group will become ABC, right will become a DEF. Again, for short sure, recursion. So again, it will break at all these points, which means it will break at here, break at here, break at here, all these points. Cool. So let's say I break it at this point. Cool. Or maybe let's say if I break this at F point, which means I break it at here. So if I break it at this point, it will become a left part as DE, right part as FG. If I pick at this point, left part will become as G. Le sorry, left part will become as DEF. Right, right will become as G. If I again go and break this DEF, I can again have two options. Break it here or here. Let's say if I break it here, again the left part will be DE, right part is F. So you can see, I broke here, left part was DE. I broke here and then here, left part is again D. For sure, while breaking during the recursion, you will have a repeating sub problem. So for sure, use a DP and store your answer in actually your DP state. Now, coming back to, you know, the recursion is going to be applied. You know that you have to try on all the, all the possibilities to break the, break it. You will try, try, you will try to find an answer for the smaller groups, smaller groups. And for sure, the smaller is just one character, single A to print, just one turn required for your keyboard. Cool. You know, you will break it down ultimately it will break down to just one character you will simply say okay it's one character to print just one character you will need one turn but while merging you know how to merge you know you will just merge the left part and the right, right part simply add down but while returning just make sure that if you have the same characters you have to subtract a one because for sure that will count it as a one so that's the same stuff which you're gonna do let's see what we have seen so far and Got the intuition so far. I will just try on for every cut from I to J. That's the reason I just said initially it's a matrix chain multiplication variation problem. How simply I am just trying for every K between I to J. I just simply write A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I'll try for every K, which means I'll cut here, which means A and B, E, F, G, and then for A, B, and then this. I'll just try for every possibility K from I to J. Now, when I say every possibilities, I will try to find, okay, the function name, the recursive function name will be solved. It will be from I to K and also from K plus 1 to J. Now, I'll go and find the answer for the left part, find the answer for the right part, giving me the minimum turns. But initializing my minimum turns with intimax because I want the minimum number of turns. Minimum turns, 
trying for every possible k and breaking down and giving the answer which means for the left part was just some minimum terms right part some minimum terms whatsoever i have i will get the minimum terms at that kth partition and i am trying for every partition between i to j cool that is my main recursive function but recursive function you also know one thing you also know one thing that we saw there's one edge case that if i found the same characters in start and end for sure i need to subtract a one so i just go and simply ask if i have a same character at start and end simply subtract a one because you know one will be extra as the minimum character minimum number of turns but if it is not same which means if it is a b both are different simply return the minimum turns whatsoever you have got but if it is actually a same character simply return simply subtract a minus one because you know that while while making group it was counted as two one for it one for it ultimately two but actually it's a one because it's actually a same i can simply write that down cool so that is one edge case which you have to monitor and make sure that we put it like this but recursion we saw edge case we saw recursion we saw but there's always a base case as the base case is simple just a one character stuff if i have only one character simply go and say okay if i and j are here which means if you have only one character for sure one turn will be required actually so i simply return a one that's how i can simply quote it down which means simply going down in my recursive call i'll ask if i equal to j simply return a one we know it's a dp you know it's a dp simply doing a recursive memorization part cool if dp of ij is not equal to minus one simply return a dp of ij minimum turns it is actually my variable which i want to return ultimately in the final initialize with intermax because i want the minimum number of turns i'll try for every possibility of k try it and go for the left part try and go for the right part which means i to k and k plus 1 to j getting the minimum number of turns which means minimum for every possible k when you have got the minimum number of turns just go and ask if actually your i and j are same please subtract a one for your minimum number of terms if it is not then simply return the minimum number of terms but while returning please make sure that you memoize this part by simply your dp of i comma j and ultimately when you call the function you will simply call for a zero to m s one which is your initially i and initially j initially int min and for sure the maximum index it is just i and j because you are actually i and j are the indexes from start and end right simply go and solve it and return the final answer dp you know i know we initialize by simple you know i and j are the actual variables of dp so for sure i j both are nn initialized by n and n of your dp and with minus one so as to know that okay you are initializing your dp with your answer and for sure uh the complexity you know that's simply of n square into n n square is just the recursive call and inside every recursive call i'm doing a o of n to all the partitions i want for k right it's o of n cube ultimately space o of n square for our dp to actually go to that's how you simply solve it the code is down below it's very 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 simple just a simple recursion just a simple recursion which is with a simple very simple very simple edge case that you have to make sure but it is that how tricky it can get to actually think of that okay it's a question of matrix chain multiplication but we know i know uh that how we solved it we can just simply go and check hey um if we can just make and group and break it down to a smaller problem and find the answer for that, maybe with that smaller problem part, smaller group part, left group and right group, I can bring out my answer for the bigger group. That is the entire string. Cool. And uh, that's all. I'll see you in a Bye-bye. Bye-bye.